You okay, Himiko? <sighs> yeah, it's nothing. Niall is just acting a little out of sorts. Hey, a pilot flipping out at the helm of a quasar is definitely not nothing. Anyway, don't worry about me. I'll take care of Niall myself. Understood. Eight, help me out here. Sorry, Niall. My quasar got a little banged up in the last fight. It's not working so good. Can you handle her on your own until I get it patched up? I don't care if she's an old friend of Niall's. I don't need someone like her. Besides, if she comes around, she's gonna cozy up to Niall while I get left out in the cold. Let's get started. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. I made up my mind when I received the will of my star. I swore to protect our planet, our peaceful days together, from the Relayers. So why are you here now, on the battlefield? I've been doing all this so you didn't have to! Because I don't want to lose you! Because I don't want you facing danger! That's why I let the military scout me! I'm the one who should be asking why you don't understand my feelings! You're done! Here I go. You feel that? I'm hit? I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Just fall! Stars ready to shine. The stars deem you an enemy. There's no way I can win. <laughs> Level up time. Critical damage? I am no longer fit to fight. Retreating. Everyone's stronger. <laughs> nice fight. <sighs> I'm not done yet. It's no good, Niall. Give up. Uh, eight. Let go of me. Himiko is... The mission has been deemed impossible to continue. Commander's orders. I'm leaving, Nile. Uh, fine. Sorry for the second-in-command's little outburst here. Oh, and thanks for protecting the base. Oh, uh, sure. Well, be seeing you on the battlefield. <laughs> Niall. What is it? I wouldn't call it a compromise, but I do understand how you feel. Why don't you come to the Asterism instead? If you did that, then... We wouldn't have to fight anymore. 
sorry, but that's not gonna happen. Huh? Why not? Because of my physical condition. It's proof of my conviction. Hey! Who the hell are you guys? I can't let anyone know we were ever here. He was unlucky. I had no idea you were so ruthless, Mercury. Perhaps it might behoove you to learn some close combat techniques as well, Master Terra. It all seems a bit too violent for me. As if you don't already spend your days running around in a stellar gear. Anyway, what building are we in now? I presume that it is the administrative block of this facility. It appears the door is locked. Can you open it, Yodaka? Negative. Bypassing military security measures is beyond my functions. Some help you are. Well, then how about I open it? Second Lieutenant Prince! You can lower that gun. I'm on your side now. Why are you here? The more I dug into Mercurius, this year this base looked so... So, I took advantage of the confusion to come check it out. Like a looter. Like you all can talk. Anyhow, I had some business beyond this door too, so it's perfect timing. Follow me. Second Lieutenant, what manner of research was this base conducting? It being targeted by Mercurius leads me to believe there must be some connection. You're pretty sharp. For a robot. I am proud that you would say so. As for your question, I honestly have no idea what they were researching here either. That's what I came to find out. They're just like us. Except for the attitude. Yeah? She never would have gotten in here without me. Am I wrong? <laughs> Jerk. Well, here we are. There isn't much time, so let's split up. You two, go over there while the robot accesses the terminal and drains its drive data. Such precise instructions. Master Terra, may I comply with his order? I'm fine with that, but... Do you have enough memory to copy all the data in here? Never fear. I shall merely act as a relay unit, forwarding the data along to Netherworld. Or, rather, Pluto. Exactly. Let me worry about the data. Also, I was hoping to speak to you, Second Lieutenant Prince. Can you come to our ship once you're done there? Welcome to the Asterism. I've been waiting for you, Second Lieutenant. I've analyzed the forwarded data. Please, come by my quarters. Yodaka, my friend, would you mind showing him the way? Affirmative. You all should come along, too. You have a duty to learn the dark truth of all this. And about this dark truth, Terra. It has to do with you and your sister's past. You'd better brace yourself. I understand. We're finally going to learn the truth. The truth of what happened at the House of Stars. So the data we obtained from that base... No, the research facility... has already been uploaded to the Asterism's database. I suggest you all review it on your own. I am almost certain it holds the answers you seek. I... 
had no idea the military was conducting this kind of research. Eight. So her death really was faked. And this is... in the side of the House of Stars I never knew about. Nevertheless, I finally know what Luna's really after. She's taking on the military, or rather her father, all by herself in order to free her friends from the curse of that place. I'll never forgive her for what she has done. And yet, if the things in these files are true, I can also understand her anger. Furthermore, the process and side effects of producing satellites, it's, it's completely different from how it was explained to me. Is this the true nature of the justice I pledged myself to? It's all my fault. It's highly probable that Mercurius will put in her next appearance at a facility related to this project. I'll put a stop to her when she does. <clears throat> Satisfy my curiosity if you would, Second Lieutenant Prince. What is your plan from here on out? Now that you know the truth, do you still intend to fight for that man? To be honest, I don't know. If this tragedy is the product of that man's twisted sense of justice, there's no way I can continue on as before. I need some time to think about what my own justice is. You know, I was just thinking that I haven't seen Observer lately. What's he up to? Apparently he's back with the United Earth Government. I thought they put him here to keep an eye on this ship. Is it okay for him to wander so far off? According to Isaac, he's been told to make sure nothing impedes us by some members under the thumb of Director Grayson. Or rather, the Genesis Organization. That sounds a little above his pay grade as an inspector. For whatever reason, he, the military, and the Genesis organization all want the Mercurius project squelched. What a man of mystery. I'm sure you breathe a little easier with him gone too, eh, Himiko? <sighs> Himiko? Um, hello? Himiko? Hmm? Oh, what? Did someone say my name? Why were you spaced out like that? Something on your mind? Yeah, kinda. I was thinking of Niall and everything that's happened lately. So, what were we talking about? Observer. He hasn't been on the ship lately, so we were wondering what he's up to. Oh, is that all? Anyway, I don't get that guy. Isn't the rumor that he facilitated the theft of the original one? Hey, what if he was also behind Luna busting out of GT Labs? <laughs> no way. Absolutely not. He'd never do that. Is what I'd love to say, but... Anything's possible with him. How is he, really? I always get this weird feeling that we're all just playthings dancing on the palm of his hand. Well then, perhaps I can provide some answers. Milky Way, you're back. Yes, I returned just now. So, Milky Way, Given the topic at hand, is Observer part of the reason you visited home? Indeed. I've been off checking up on what I can do to clarify who stands with us and who stands against us. Let's hear your findings. In that case, let's move to another location. This may take a while, so I think it best if I tell you over some tea. Yeah.